Once upon a time, deep in the shimmering blue depths of the ocean, there lived two friends, Oliver the octopus and Wally the whale. They had been on countless adventures together, exploring coral reefs, mysterious caves, and sunken treasures. And though they were very different, Oliver, small and quick, and Wally, big and strong, they made the perfect team. But one day, a secret treasure would test their friendship, revealing that true treasure isn't always gold and jewels, but something far more valuable. One sunny afternoon, while drifting lazily over the ocean floor, they overheard a story from a pair of playful dolphins. There's a sunken ship nearby, the dolphins said. And they say it's filled with treasure. Oliver's eyes sparkled. A treasure? We have to find it. Wally grinned. That sounds fun. Oliver agreed at first, but deep inside, he had a different idea. If I get to that treasure before Wally, I'll be the one to find it. After all, I'm quicker and smaller. I can get there faster and have all the glory. Wally, unaware of his friend's thoughts, swam alongside Oliver as they ventured toward the rumored wreck. He imagined them discovering the treasure together, laughing, and sharing it like always. But as they got closer, Oliver's excitement grew, and so did his impatience. He began to dart ahead, his many arms propelling him through the water in a blur. Without warning, Oliver shot forward, weaving through tall kelp forests and twisting around rocks. I'm going to find it first, he shouted back to Wally. Wally, startled, slowed down for a moment. Wait, Oliver. I thought we were doing this together. But Oliver was already far ahead, racing toward the treasure as fast as he could. Wally tried to catch up, but his large body wasn't built for speed like Oliver's. As Wally swam steadily behind, his heart sank a little. Why is Oliver rushing? I thought this was our adventure. Oliver, on the other hand, was feeling triumphant. I'm going to get there first. He thought, a smile spreading across his face. Finally, Oliver reached the sunken ship, half buried in the sandy ocean floor, its wooden beams covered in coral and seaweed. He spotted a gleam of gold through a crack in the hull and squeezed inside without a second thought. There it is. Oliver exclaimed. He was so focused on the treasure that he didn't notice the sharp, broken pieces of wood sticking out from the ship's structure. As he reached out for a shining gold coin, his tentacle got stuck between two jagged planks. Ouch! Oliver winced, trying to pull himself free. But the more he struggled, the tighter he became trapped. Just then, Wally arrived, having swum calmly the entire way. He saw Oliver struggling inside the shipwreck. Oliver. Are you okay? Oliver called out to Wally. I'm stuck, Wally. I can't get out. Now, Wally could have been upset. He could have reminded Oliver that they were supposed to find the treasure together. But instead, Wally's heart was filled with concern for his friend. Without hesitation, Wally carefully moved closer to the wreck. Using his massive but gentle body, he pushed aside the broken beams, creating enough space for Oliver to wriggle free. I'm so sorry, Wally. I shouldn't have raced ahead. I got too excited and forgot that we always work together. I thought I could do it on my own, but I just got myself in trouble. Wally smiled kindly. It's okay, Oliver. We all make mistakes. The important thing is that you're safe. And you know what? There's still plenty of treasure in that ship, and I think it'll be even more fun to find it together. Oliver's heart warmed. You're right. I should have told the truth and stayed by your side. This treasure is great. Oliver said. But it's not as important as our friendship. Wally nodded. Gold and jewels are nice but having a friend who cares about you is worth more than any treasure in the sea. And so, Oliver and Wally learned an important lesson that day. Kindness, truth, and friendship are the real treasures, ones that last forever, no matter how many adventures you go on. From that day forward, Oliver never rushed ahead again. He knew that the greatest adventures weren't about getting there first, but about the friends you share them with. The End <laughs>